a bunch of reading. What? What's that you say? Longboarding? Funny you should ask. I was just reading the physics behind longboarding. What's a longboard? What? They didn't want to answer that question. And explain how Newton's first law of motion allows the longboard to function. You are familiar with the standard skateboard, with its shorter body, curved ends, smaller trucks, and hard plastic wheels. This board is designed primarily for doing tricks. The longboard is considered the skateboard's older brother. The most noticeable difference is its longer length. It also has larger and looser trucks, which enable the rider to turn easily with a simple wing. The wheels on most longboards are much larger than the skateboards. Their size and polyurethane makeup allow the rider to gain a higher top speed. Because these wheels are much softer, the rider has a smoother and quieter ride. As they absorb most of the vibrations from transferring to the rest of the board, the longboard is said to be a cross between a skateboard and a surfboard. Because it is designed for cruising on land, it offers more stability and higher speed. Another distinct feature of the longboard is its pointed tip, which reduces wind resistance. The longboard's body is quite flexible and produces a cradle effect on the rider. This lowers the center of gravity and increases the stability <laughs> and the balance. Newton's first law states that an object at rest will remain at rest unless acted upon by a force. The simplest force that can cause an object to move is the force of gravity. The force of gravity pulls the rider down the hill and increases the acceleration and velocity positively. Another way to move is by the kick push. The kick push pushes the board in a positive direction and also increases the acceleration and velocity positively. Newton's first law also states that an object in motion will continue to move in a straight line unless acted upon by a force. The rider will eventually come to a stop due to the friction of the riding surface. This will cause the acceleration to increase negatively and the velocity to slow down to a complete stop. Another force that can cause a rider to safely stop is by dragging your foot. Dragging your foot uses friction to slow down your momentum to a complete stop. Force applied down on the board from leaning allows the board to turn. This turn is referred to as carving the board. With this knowledge of longboarding, you, that's right, you, 
he could go out and longboard efficiently.